on sailing Catalpa. Lee catches his first marlin and we arrive at Middle Percy Island in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> Percy Island is famous for its beauty and also this A-frame building, now known as the Percy Yacht Club, featuring all the names of boats and yachties that have come before us. How cool is this place? Andy Martin, an eccentric Englishman, bought the lease in 1964 and stayed there for 33 years. He also transformed the island into a boaties magnet offering goat's meat, fresh fruit and vegetables, honey, bread and meals at the homestead. They still sell their honey and mango chutney today. We'd been told that that Percy Island had some pretty rad sand dunes, so we went around to the other side. We caught up with Matt, Andrea and Kalani of Say No More and went on search for some sand dunes. The kids altered another skateboard so they had a sandboard each, so off we went searching for some sand dunes. Matt Matt had also made his own sandboard since we'd seen him last and he called it the Froth Beard. First stop was Rescue Bay. And wow, they were steep. There was a bit of a climb. Then we got the guts up to have a go. Matt frothing down the dunes first. Kalani loved chasing us all down. All right. Dad on the froth beard tearing it up. Standing out on a desert highway, screaming at the cars, falling like stars as they roared out of the white hot sun. And he was pointing and gesticulating. We had fun there, but we decided to continue our search for the perfect June. When we found these rippers at White's Bay, people left him. Well alone, but there were words pouring out of his Bella got up some serious speed. Mouth that I take. Mum was getting the hang of it and for my own. There's love if you want it. All you've got to do is say yes. There is love if you want it. All you've got to do is say yes. Yeah, I was ripping. Yeah. Taj loving it. Yeah, yeah, say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Say yes. I dreamed I saw a widow standing by the grave of an old man. The old man's ghost was in the shadow. You!
Go, Mum. That's right, love. Have a rest. Is that you close? I can understand. She said this piece, if you want it. Mum and Dad racing down. Come on, old man. Mum smashed you. <laughs> but I'm no doubt the fastest. The froth beard was a beast of a board, definitely creating the most speed. There is well, that was dramatic. If you want it, all you've got to do is say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah say yes. He's got it! Oh. After some epic times and hours of sandboarding, it was time to call it a day. A-frame was a great communal area and it had a fire at the back where most afternoons all the yachties came ashore and had some drinks and nibblies or even dinner. We enjoyed walking around in here, checking out all the boats names and all the memorabilia that had been left behind. Really cool to see all of the stuff from previous yachties from years and years ago. The next day we decided to head up to the historic homestead. It's a steep walk about 1.5 kilometres from the beach. on the hunt for some internet reception for the weather, as none of us had had any for days. On our walk up, we met Ben. He's a solo sailor sailing back his boat, Legend, to Sydney. We had no luck with the internet, even after climbing up some trees, so we headed up towards the homestead. At the homestead, we were greeted by the lovely Kate that kindly gave us a guided tour and told us some of the history about the homestead and the island. Pictures are how they built the islander. Uh, and, and these are all pictures that somebody gave you out. You can just see how high the coconuts were in 1985, which is when I first came. Mm. And so they used to say you could take one coconut per boat, but now you can take as many as you want. Mm -hmm. and find the spike which is on the edge of the embankment, which is actually held in place by the coconut roots which is interesting, because yeah, yeah. without those roots, it used to go all the way back. And then to the left is Tinanee Peak. And, uh, and we've got all the history information over here, which is interesting. Yeah, that is on e-books. And that one is on iBooks, and they're both, that's only 25, that's 35. They're both absolutely fascinating if you like history and Australian history at that. And uh, these are these little cards. And, yeah, do have a look at them, and I'll just get a drink for these other notes. Oh. We also met up with another kid boat, Island Home, 
We'd met them a couple of times before and Scott from Island Home and Taj and Bella loved hanging out together. So it was nice to have some time with them. So it's Saturday morning and we're at Percy Island, in the middle, middle Percy Island. And um, we've been here, I think this is day three. Day three, babe? It's just gone, yeah. Maybe, three day or four. Three. And now uh, we've got some strong winds, so we're hanging around till at least tomorrow. Then we're going to head out to the Swains, but um, we had a really bad sleep last night. It's really rolly here. Not nice. We just I'm had a tired. whole heap of garfish around the boat. I just put a jig in and they have all gone. I thought it might have been a little bit of bait. The island is just beautiful and we had a really good time here. We met some really cool people and had some really special times. We won't forget it. If you're going past Percy Island, make sure you stop in. It's Guys, so that was episode 38. Um, we actually had some bad news. We've lost some footage. It could partially be my fault uh, or it was because the camera that we had died and it was playing up before it died and it was um, didn't save some footage. So this episode kind of ended and our net next episode doesn't really flow on it's missing about three days I'm spewing because it was some really cool footage um, but hopefully fingers and toes and everything crossed we're gonna try and recover it there's no promises but um, yeah we're gonna see if we can recover the footage but other than that this is why the episode kind of ended where it did and the next episode doesn't really follow on. So our next episode, we head out to the Swains Reef on the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland, Australia. And it is uh, missing some of the footage getting there and it's also missing some really cool footage from uh, the Middle Percy Island from our last two days. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but on the bright side, um, we have a new camera. So I don't know if this footage is clearer and you can see all my wrinkles and like everything in my face, but it's a pretty cool camera. Um, we're currently in Cairns and we got a new video camera and we've got a new GoPro. So our footage from after Cairns should be pretty cool. Um, that's about it. Yeah, we're just uh, at Cairns and we're stocking up and getting Catalpa ready to sail onto Thursday Island so right up the top of Australia a little tiny tiny island we've got some friends there and we're gonna go hang out there with them before we head up to Indonesia so everything's kind of been going really well um, we also yeah we also went ashore and had some time with some family um, before coming back here so uh, Katelpa was left on her own for a week but we're back on board and getting everything all sorted, provisioning and getting ready to go. But that was all. Thanks heaps for watching, for supporting us, to all our patrons. You're amazing. Um, we actually, we've been saving for a drone with our patron money, but because of our camera situation, we have used the camera, the, the drone money to buy a new camera. So uh, we are still saving for a drone. We were hoping that we'd have one uh, for our next leg because we're going to be out at the Great Barrier Reef again and do some amazing footage but that's okay. Um, thank you, thank you everyone who supported us uh, along our journey so far. We are really really grateful and uh, if you want to follow us other than on our YouTube page you can go onto Instagram or Facebook. We have Sailing Catalpa uh, pages on there as well. Anyway, I think that is all. Have a beautiful day. Mwah. Until next time. Bye.